Hey, BookTube. Um, I'm kind of bumming it today, per usual, but um, more so than even my average day. So I wanted to just take a quick moment to talk about this wonderful Penguin Deluxe Edition I just picked up of one of my all-time favorite novels, the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful creations of art that, um, that I've ever experienced. It's To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. And this is the Penguin Deluxe Edition. It's got some art, very cool art by Alison Bechtel of, of Fun Home and Are You My Mother fame and, and many other things. I'm not doing her justice just by naming those two. Uh, but uh, Alison Bechtel, if you know, you know. And she does the, uh, the cover art and the French flap art, the, all the art on it. And if you're familiar with the novel, um, of course, there's Miss Ramsey and James as he cuts out his Navy arts supply on pictures, the refrigerator and whatnot. And then I'm going to do this for those of you who have read it, because we have Lily Briscoe painting her painting at the beginning of the novel, The Young Lily. And then, whew, if you've read it, this hits a little harder on that back flap, The Older Lily. Again, if you know, you know. But um, if you don't know, please pick this up and read it because you will come back to it again and again throughout your life. It's um, truly an amazing piece of art. And what is very cool about this edition is that the foreword is by Patricia Lockwood, who's just an amazing writer in her own right, and it's a, it's a wonderful um, foreword. And then it's followed by an introduction by Hermione Lee. Um, Hermione Lee is a famous the, the famous biographer of Virginia Woolf, really. Um, Virginia Woolf has had some, some great biographies written about her. But Hermione Lee, I mean, that's, that's the name, right, that you, um, that you hear when discussing um, biographies of, and writings about Virginia Woolf. She's done some wonderful editing. Uh, for different um, her diaries and I believe and moments of being and there um, the, a lot of the ways we read Virginia Woolf you know have been greatly influenced by the writings of, of her Miley and um, she's a beautiful voice in her own right so it has a forward by Patricia Lockwood and then it follows by an introduction by Hermione Lee and there's artwork by Alison Bechtel um, that's just you know powerhouse trifecta of important uh, writers and artists, and then followed by the magnificent texts of To the Lighthouse. And of course, I started rereading as soon as I got this, trying to take it slow. It's one of those novels where you want to keep going because it is so beautiful and, you're, and you are interested in the thoughts and the upcoming thoughts and, and um, the upcoming events, right? As, as quote unquote plotless as people might claim um, Virginia Woolf, some of Virginia Woolf's writing to be. And they don't say that in a bad way. It just, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't hinge around the plot. Um, it hinges around the thoughts of the characters and um, the beauty of the language and this shimmering um, exploration of life. There is there, there are interesting things that are happening that you do want to know more about so you do continue to read it has in my opinion and I've said this before the greatest section of literature in the English language um, and you know I, w I wish I read every language on earth so I could read every novel out there not just in translation but in the original and really appreciate it for what it is uh, but I can't imagine there being something as beautiful and poignant in any language as that um, section. It's called Time Passes. It's the middle. Virginia Woolf wanted to do kind of the novel like, a, I think she said two homes with a long corridor in between. Excuse me. So you have the first section, windows. You have this corridor, which is the beautiful Time Passes, which is a complete compression of years and years in these vignettes. And, um, very influential to, I'm sure, 
so many people's writing, but especially mine, since I'm in my own my own head here, um, that just amazed me when I, I read that that uh, that that was something that could be done so eloquently. So you have this corridor, time passes, and then you have um, to the lighthouse. You have you have the lighthouse, the very the, the last section. So made up in those three sections, and that little corridor there, time passes, is um, so wonderful and you know it's one of those things that you just it takes your breath away at times and um, you can just contemplate and and read and reread that one section over and over again but the book itself has these miniature moments of that throughout and um, and it touches on so much and uh, and you should certainly read it so that's again to the lighthouse Virginia Woolf Penguin Deluxe Edition go ahead and pick it up if you can <laughs>